Hi, cooking cronies. This weekend I went to the farm to pick up some tomatoes so that I can do my annual canning. And so I'd like to share with you my process that I use when canning, um, when canning tomatoes. So you start by using fresh, firm tomatoes, um, which are free from any kind of spots. So you wanna make sure that you look them over, uh, wash them before you start uh, your canning process. I put a little X in the bottom part of my tomato um, prior to putting them in boiling water. So um, you want to go through each tomato, checking them for any kind of defect and putting little uh, X's on the bottom opposite of where the core is. So it, get a large pot of water boiling and once that has uh, started to boil, put your tomatoes into that boiling water for one to two minutes and take them out and immediately place them in an ice bath. So once they're in the ice bath, um, this process just makes it easier to peel your tomatoes. So at this time I peel and core my tomatoes and I quarter them. You can cut them any way you want or place them in a large pot um, to cook them down. And again, you cook them down to whatever texture uh, you like. Um, I like mine not watery, but not real thick either. I don't want a tomato sauce. I want a stewed tomato type texture. So I'm just going to cook my tomatoes down until it gets to the texture that I like and to keep um, chunks of tomatoes from uh, being in my jars, I use a hand blender and um, just go around my pot as they're boiling and um, chopping them up. And the reason I do that is mostly because my husband doesn't like big chunks of tomatoes, so I do that um, while they're cooking. So once they're to the consistency that I want, then I um, place them in sterilized jars. Follow the directions on your lids um, that you'll be using with your canning jars. Uh, you do need to boil them for a little while. And um, so fill your jars, whether you use quartz or pint jars, and um, fill them to about uh, a fourth of an inch from the top of the jar. After you've put your tomatoes in, make sure you wipe the lid or the, the rim of the jar before you place the, the canning lid on it and then the ring, and then place them in an, a canning pot that is designed uh, especially for canning. So they're gonna sit in a rack, and you're going to what they call bathe your uh, tomatoes for about 45 minutes. And you want the water to cover your jars about a half inch to one inch over the top of the jar, and cover it, and just time it for 45 minutes. And once your 45 minutes is complete, then take the jars out of the water, place them in a non-drafty area, and as they cool, you'll hear popping sounds from the lid, and that just means that they're sealing. And then just um, store them and use them throughout the year. You can season them however you like, with salt, or if you like to um, add Italian spices, or whatever kind of um, spices you like for your tomatoes, whether it's garlic or, or cilantro or parsley, or whatever um, your choice is. I just like mine plain. I'll add my salt when I'm ready to use my tomatoes. So I hope you enjoy my process in the film and um, try out canning tomatoes because they'll taste like fresh tomatoes every time you open up a jar. They at least have a flavor. The stuff you buy at the stores really don't have a flavor. When you get a whole box of tomatoes from the farm, um, I got eight quarts and six pints. And so this will last me um, the rest of the year or till next year, I mean. Um, I still had some left over because I did two boxes last year. So anyway, have a blessed day and enjoy. God bless.